Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyEyeMarketing.com, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the contact section within ClickFunnels 2.0, and of course, this is where you go to manage your contacts. So let's go ahead and get into it. We can navigate to contacts right here, and you will notice that the menu changes on the left-hand side. So we're currently under all contacts, and it's pretty self-explanatory. So we could go ahead and search for particular contacts if you want to. Additionally, you could go ahead and sort by different information. So you could sort by lifetime value or name or when they signed up and so on. Additionally, you could go ahead and filter your contacts. So you could create a filter and you could look for people that have enrolled in a course or own a product or something else. So you can filter your contacts in addition to sort them. At the very top, we have an option to import. So you could go ahead and import your list from some other email marketing tool, like you could import from ActiveCampaign or Aweber or MailChimp or whatever email tool you may be using. And also you could go ahead and manually add contacts if you want to. So you could go through and fill out a form and add them to your contact list. Now here's a list of all the contacts we have and you could go ahead and you could do some bulk actions right here. So we could go ahead and enroll them or tag them or export them or run a workflow on them. So sometimes you might wanna create a filter for people that meet certain criteria and then you could bulk edit all those individuals that meet that criteria and add them to a course or something to that effect or send them into a workflow. That's just a good way to go ahead and manage your contacts in bulk but what we want to do is look at one individual contact. So we'll go ahead and click on their name and it pops up this quick edit section. And you can see that you could just get an overview, billing, enrollments, orders, and so on. But what I want to do is go to view full profile because there's more options and info in here. And I want to be able to cover everything with you in this video. So that's why we are in here. So here's an overview now of our customer and you could go ahead and edit them if you want to. Additionally, you see the option for shipping addresses. So if you need to add shipping address, you have payment methods right here and you could add a new payment method. So maybe your customers call in and want to give you their credit card information over the phone. You could go ahead and plug it into their profile right here. Also, there's this option here for credit memos. And so this could help you keep track of when people return products or chargebacks or anything like that. And this can help you keep track of how much money you have returned to the customer. So let me go ahead and just plug in $10 and update credit memo. And I actually received an error message because this customer hasn't actually paid any money, so I can't give them a credit. But anyway, coming over, we can see a list of all the activity that the individual has done here. And you see the option to also add notes if you want to keep track of these particular customers and how they're engaging with your funnels and website. We have marketing, so we can see what workflows they've been in, what broadcast messages they've received, and if they've been part of any calendar event registrations or deadline funnels. And we can get all these details right here. We also have their orders all right here. And we can see that they've done two orders. One is currently pending and one is completed. And we can also see the payment right here. So we get the details of all their orders. We have enrollments as well. So we can see what courses they're enrolled in and we could also add enrollments. So you could click on add enrollment to add them to another course, or you could go ahead and remove them from courses as well. So you could click into it and do remove enrollment and then they'd be brought out of the course and removed from it. Finally, we have fulfillments and assets. So if you're shipping them products, you would get a list of their fulfillment history right here. And also if you give them asset access when they purchase a product, so maybe you send them a PDF file and they have access to that asset, well then you would get a list of all their assets that they have access to in this area. Let's come back up to the top here. So we can see that this person is a member, meaning that they have an enrollment in one of our courses. Also, they are a customer because they have done an order. So they have two orders with us and their lifetime value is $10. And we can also see lifetime value as well right here of $10. Over in the top right, we have manage contact. So here we could go ahead and edit the contact. We could change their password. We could send them a magic link email and this would allow them to click in and edit, enter into the customer dashboard. We could unsubscribe them from various lists if we want to do that from their profile. Also, we could go ahead and just delete them completely from our ClickFunnels account, and that way we satisfy any laws or regulations that you know you might be up against. But hopefully you're not doing anything sketchy anyway. But if you need to delete someone, this is where you would go ahead and do it. And that is it for editing the contact. Let's come to contact tags. 
So this would be how you can keep your contacts organized and or you could go ahead and trigger workflows with these various tags, create filters and segments based off of different tags and tags can be used in a lot of different ways but this is where you could go ahead and manage those various tags and you can also edit them as well which would simply be changing their name and you could go ahead and add a color as well just to keep things organized on your end. But tagging can be very powerful depending on how you use it. Anyway, moving on to segments here. Here you can create segments, which is a filtered group of contacts, and typically you would use them in broadcasts. So let's go ahead and create a new segment real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a segment of people that have joined one of my courses. So we'll say click funnels 2.0 course members. And I'll go ahead and create a filter here. And then I want to go ahead and select anybody that is enrolled in course, click funnels 2.0 course. And you can see that there's more options here. So we could do an and statement or have an or statement depending on the particular criteria and customer you're trying to reach. But I'm going to leave it how it is and we'll do create segment. And now if I click on this segment, I will see all the members that have enrolled in my ClickFunnels 2.0 course. So I have two members currently in that course. And finally, we have contact attributes. So this would be if there are custom fields that you want to go ahead and keep track of for your customers, we could go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and add new contact attribute. And for whatever reason, let's just say I want to keep track of people's eye color. So I could go ahead and add that label, label right there. And we could also select the field type. So we have a text field or a select field. So you could give people set options like blue, green, brown, other. And we could go ahead and create the field there. And now if we went back to one of our contacts, so let's come back out here and we'll click into this contact here. And I'm gonna go ahead and view their full profile. I can now see that there's an option for custom attributes right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit and hit the drop down, eye color. And then I'm going to select eye color green and save attribute. And so now I'm tracking this individual's eye color. And so if there's custom information that you wanna go ahead and track about your customers, that's how you can go ahead and do it by adding different attributes. And that is pretty much it for managing your contacts. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or head over to crazymarketing.com for more marketing material. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of the day.